welcome to Gen365 podcast. This is an initiative of Beyond the Veil Mission. And this is a podcast for the community to empower a generation of healing and hope 365 days of the year. Come. Okay, hey Gen365 fam, it's my friend here again, Haisa, and this yes. is your host, Lydia. Yes. Okay, so we are switching things, I promise you, when we come <laughs> back with the next season, it's going to be spicy, it's going to mm-hmm. be fire. Yes. Wellness, relationship, you know. Life, uh, goals, uh, everything. That's what life is Jobs, about, right? Know, love. Honestly, everything. relationship are everything. 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 Yes. But Raissa, what are we talking today? What are we talking today, about? Today, I think one topic that we've been talking about is marriage. And I think we want to have a conversation about marriage. Marry for purpose or marry for love? Yes. If you are listening, tell us, you know, are you team marry for love or team marry for a purpose? Okay. Yes. <laughs> can can are they allowed to pick two? Are they allowed to pick purpose and love? <laughs> I think you can, but today we need, you know, I one don't know. of them. Pick one. For pick the sake one. of this conversation, we gotta have to have side. You gotta yes. pick one, I'm gonna pick one. Yes. On my side, marrying for love is overrated. Do you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So- I believe <laughs> I believe that marriage should be based on practical consideration and shared values, you know? Oh my God. Other than just romantic love? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Mary, marrying for love is overrated. Hmm. You think so too? Okay. Huh. Okay. I'm team married for a purpose. What is the purpose? For sure, I'm a lover. For mm-hmm. sure, all of that. But... I've been in a marriage for how many years? 15. <laughs> I don't, okay, since 2010 until 2021. How many years? My math is not math. Is. <laughs> Same. I need a calculator. <laughs> okay, tell us. How many years? 2010 to 2021. 21. That's 11 years. Okay. That's easy math. <laughs> Just 11 years? Yeah, it feels like it was more than that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's more than that. 2010 to 2021, it's 11 years. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I, I did great. <laughs> that's still a decade and more. I did my best. According to North America, whatever science, I am one of the top 10 who did their best. Mm-hmm. Okay. But for me, love is important, mm-hmm. but I feel like, you know, as a Christian, mm-hmm. as just, a random person, I come to realize that actually a purpose is stronger. A purpose actually drive our love. Okay. Define a like, purpose for me. Okay. A purpose is like, you know, having a calling. It's like mm. a compass of your life. It's like you have a calling and it's guiding your choices in life. Mm-hmm. I'm just defining as a, yeah, regular, as a, person. As a regular person. We're not using you know any you dictionary. you get to understand mm-hmm. you know more about yourself. I am not a team of oh know everything about yourself because for me I'm a believer that everything I'm doing here, mm-hmm. like until I'm done, mm-hmm. I'm here to actually understand who I am and respond to that for the rest of my life. Yeah. So a purpose is at least having a basic understanding of Mm -hmm. what it is of your calling. Mm -hmm. And then when you marry, you're not going to marry someone who have exactly your purpose, but it's someone who can respect your calling and you understand each other's calling because you are coming together Mm -hmm. to actually build on a family or marriage purpose together. It's like two people who understand each other, Mm -hmm. who understand themselves Mm -hmm. and who come together to actually build something together oh, i think i'm losing okay you're okay. losing tra- okay yeah. you lost me you lost me at purpose what you're saying is actually making sense and yeah. it has a meaning but in my understanding i'm understanding it as someone who you share the same values no right and the strong i don't know it's yes strong and foundation no. and yes values and, no. and yes. goals mm-hmm. right because a purpose is the reason why you're created that's the real meaning yes. of a purpose i love that you would know 
let's say you're lucky enough to know your purpose, mm-hmm. which is a very hard self-awareness, self-discovery yes. Yes. path that someone mm-hmm. takes to get there. But a marriage is two people, right? So how, let's say you know your purpose. Mm-hmm. How would your partner know their purpose? That's the thing. This is why when you look at the psychological developmental stages, mm-hmm. when we hit the stage, I think it's from 18 to 35. Mm-hmm. This is the stage where we are longing for connection. Mm-hmm. This is the stage where we look for romantic. 18 All to of, 35? Yes. Okay. So one, the outcome of it is to, to have a positive outcome of that stage mm-hmm. is to be able to build self connected self identity mm-hmm. for better connection. So mm-hmm. if you want to have better connection during that stage, you're you going to have to be able to discover your self identity. Mm-hmm. So the other person is none of my responsibility. Exactly. They're going to be, even if you don't know, mm-hmm. but you are willing to go on that journey to discover why am I here? You're still thinking of I. Marriage is we, right? Because I, mm-hmm. I myself, trying to understand about myself. That the, before the marriage. Yeah, before the mm-hmm. marriage, the way I choose my career, the mm-hmm. way I choose my studies, the way I choose friendship, community, career, all of it. Mm-hmm. It's responding to my purpose, right? Mm-hmm. And then my partner is doing the same thing. And then when we meet together, mm-hmm. I have my purpose, and you have, you my, have your purpose, but we are coming together to build also one yeah. thing that will, we unify this union. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So how would you know mm-hmm. that your partner knows his purpose? I think this is where uh, courtship and dating are important mm-hmm. because you don't jump in a marriage, right? Mm-hmm. The, those previous conversation, this, you know, hard question, you know, under, you know, trying to have a conversation before you make that bigger decision. Mm-hmm. The reason why we are having this conversation is because most of us, I met my, my, uh, the father of my children when I was 17 years you and he was, he, he was young too he was young yeah but this is like out of high school maybe him, him also he was university beginner yeah and you know for me it was all about like you know a handsome guy i know lovey lovey Love, lovey 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 cinderella you know especially oh my god he was like he was the most looking. bilingual person at that <laughs> oh. time and when he speak that english and french that's it. That's it. That's it. Like we're not looking at anything. It's just a smile. You don't have any worries of life. At yes. That. It's about like, you know, even when I look at my notebooks, mm. like when I look at the list of a man that I wanted at that time. You have, a, you had a list at 17. I actually still have Woo-hoo! like my notebook. Wow. At 17. Yes. Do you know why? Because as women, mm. by the minute we are born, the society see our purpose as Same the next way. wife yeah. and we grow up seeing ourselves in that way. Mm-hmm. And you know, by, by high school, you are starting to get ready. That's true. What is my next man? That's even true. if you are and young, even if when they start to talk to you, your next thing in your mind, you're like, Oh, my, my kids, my house, my home. Yes. My home. Yes. You know, start to fantasize about that. And there's a long way to go clearly. But why are you not telling me anything? Cause did you, did you choose love or purpose? No, no. I, 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 I chose, I chose practical reasons and values and goals. Marrying for practical reasons, yeah. values and goals. Yeah. So it could be defined. I feel like purpose is a broader term, mm-hmm. but I feel like love fades over time. Personally, in my that, experience, yeah, yeah. it fades over time. Mm-hmm. It's true that it should be probably the foundation. Yes. Love has attraction in it and everything. Mm-hmm. But the thing that makes you stick forever is um, compatibility, is those uh, practical goals and values. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and love can be cultivated at a time. When I say that it fades, it doesn't mean that it's over. You can you can find ways to, you know, cultivate love over time. But for you to cultivate love over time, then that's when the shared values come in. But that's I would, when the compatibility... I speaking the same thing. Because when you say, you know, love, compatibility, uh, practical, reasoning, I think it goes back to the purpose i guess because purpose is a bigger because there's two type of love yeah they love before the wedding and And they they love love after after the wedding okay yeah you're making sense yeah and we failed to recognize that because they love before the wedding for Mm. those who have read the five love language i i love that guy um gary chapman one Mm. thing he says is that before the wedding this is just a romantic love Mm. 
Mm-hmm. This is the love that I can skip my work mm-hmm. and skip my paycheck because mm-hmm. I just want to cuddle with you. We don't care about the rest of the world. We don't care about the war happening in which country. Yeah. It's me and you. Nothing else matters. And you know why it's different? For mm-hmm. me, especially, I haven't been married, so I don't know the love after marriage, but I've yes. seen my friends and family members that are married. Mm-hmm. Is because when before you're married, it's an escape from the reality of life. Yes. So the dating phase is like, okay, I go to work i'm tired oh i'm gonna go and cuddle with my girlfriend Mm. it's fun it's cute right Mm. it's an escape from everything that's stressful yes from life but now after you're married it becomes a responsibility it's no longer an escape so now you come home to responsibility and that's why i guess it gets hard and that's why for me i keep i come back to it needs to be practical it's like yes you know because and and also i think there's nothing wrong to go through that phase Mm -hmm. where you don't care about anything it's just the two of you Mm -hmm. because at the end of the day if you are mature people Mm -hmm. i go back to the purpose who really want to build a stronger family, stronger marriage, mm. you cannot go back time to time to be like, you know, what we used to do. Can we maybe have a date? Yeah, Can that's we... when you cultivate love yes. over time. Though. However, when we are dating before the marriage, this the happen. conversation doesn't happen. Oh, yeah. And we are exactly. expecting this, you know, when you, when you talk to your lover, it's always a, no, this is going to stay here. This yeah. is, this is for life. I this know, is, <laughs> this is, for us, it used to be like, uh, wakufa na guambana. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is for life, you know, and you be, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. However, I wish we can also get ready to recognize that the love after wedding mm. is still real love. It, it is, is love. actually unconditional in an, love. In a, in, a, in a different way. Yeah, it's, a, it's unconditional. Because it's more like, ah, you it's know. It's conditional. I can debate on that. Okay. Okay. There Please. is conditions right. for it to work. It can be unconditional. Okay. That's why now, nowadays, if the conditions are being are not being mm-hmm. met, people separate. Yes. It's not unconditional. Mm-hmm. Maybe the one before is un- Tell me more. Yeah, maybe the one before is unconditional because mm-hmm. you don't have other stressors. You don't have responsibilities. But I feel like for the love after marriage to mm-hmm. work, there need to be conditions to be met. You know, okay. even anything serious in life, there is terms and conditions that you need to sign. You know, that box that you need to check. Is that a marriage business is one now? Of it's actually <laughs> marriage is a business. Okay, okay. Marriage is a business. A business of what? It's for you to tell me. Okay, but we hear that it's a union of love. How does that become business? Because I feel like you know, I wouldn't compare it to business mm-hmm. because in a marriage, at some point, mm-hmm. I think sacrifice have. At some point of your life, Mm -hmm. you are going to make some sacrifices for it to happen. And don't get me wrong, especially my sisters. (laughs) This is not a call like, you know, uh, you know, um, putting yourself yourself down down there so you can be used. Mm -hmm. But I think every love in your life requires sacrifice. It's not just love. You are going to get either a (laughs) win-win No one lose or maybe compromising all of that. But I think sacrifice is going to happen. That's why I can't use the term business. Um, When I say business, it's not, we're not talking the monetary value or anything. Mm -hmm. When I say business, it's anything in life to work. It Mm -hmm. needs to be treated as a business. So it Mm -hmm. needs to have certain disciplines. Yes. It needs to have... uh, certain um understandings Mm -hmm. you know and it needs to have certain terms so it's like okay when i say Mm -hmm. it's conditional it's like okay one condition for this marriage to work Mm -hmm. is to make sure that let's say for some people one person stays at home another goes to work that's a condition um is that a condition maybe an agreement it is an agreement agreement and conditions are the same thing by the way they're synonyms terms and agreements okay terms and conditions okay Personally, people mm-hmm. who know English better can correct us on that, but that's mm-hmm. my understanding. Mm-hmm. Another thing, um, for me personally, I believe it's a partnership, and that yes. comes back to what you were saying that it requires sacrifices. Yes, it is true in anything, even in businesses, mm-hmm. for it to work, there's some sacrifices. People, some people call it sacrifice, mm-hmm. some other people would call it risks. Oh, okay, you know, okay. I, I think, yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah, we're still talking about so you still think. It needs to be based on love or it needs to have love to succeed. 
No, I think I will stick to the purpose mm-hmm. because for me, a great purpose drive through love. Mm-hmm. That means for really, because at the end of the day, to feel loved or to be able to love, mm-hmm. you gonna be you gonna need to be fulfilled either way. Mm-hmm. This is why the stage between you know, let's see the stage of life where we are developing connectedness, building relationships. It's more of like you know, we are talking more self identity before, before connectedness. connectedness. That's before we are on after. Yes. Marriage. So yeah, even after marriage, mm-hmm. that means after the wedding, this love is standing on. You you mentioned something. Was it cultivating something for mm-hmm. it to work? Mm-hmm. There is a Needs seed that I have to plant mm-hmm. for things to work. So there, that seed is love. Y- that seed is, you know, it's love, mm-hmm. but there is a purpose behind it. I am intentional every single day. It's not like I'm going to have the feeling like, you know, oh my God, I feel like I want to do this. Now it's more like, you know, there is a responsibility. Mm-hmm. If you want this to work, there has to be a responsibility. Before the wedding, mm-hmm. it can be like, you know, Oh my God, I'm feeling you. You're feeling me. Mm-hmm. Even when you're thinking about your man or your woman, oh, you see the call coming in. Oh my God, I was thinking about you. Me too. Mm-hmm. But after that the that wedding is... now, it's more intentional. Mm-hmm. More like, like you know, <laughs> we have a very busy day. Mm-hmm. If I forgot to call you, I want you to be secure enough to recognize that I love you. Exactly. But then it does not become a habit. Mm. You have a role to care for me. I have a role to care for you, regardless of what's happening. And even if that responsibility we're not able to meet that need, mm. there has to be a communication. Yeah. Han, I see, have... conditions are still coming in. Okay. Conditions are still coming in. Communication mm-hmm. is a condition, right? Mm-hmm. So when you say purpose, mm-hmm. that takes me back to the meaning of purpose. Yes. In your understanding. You mm-hmm. know, you don't need to be any mm-hmm you know very sophisticated mm-hmm. meaning in your mm-hmm. understanding what is a purpose okay for me first i understand purpose from a higher power mm-hmm. this is the reason i'm here mm-hmm. this You're is here on, yes, earth. on earth this mm-hmm. is the reason why i am created mm-hmm. this is the reason why this minute we are sitting here me and you mm-hmm. because everything we are doing in life it's responding to that calling i call it a calling yeah this is something every single day most of your days you spend your days being like, you know, I need to respond to this. Mm-hmm. I go to school, choosing a career, choosing a partner, choosing all these things. It's trying to fulfill that one thing. Mm-hmm. Even if I love people, many people are like, you know, my purpose is serving people. Mm-hmm. But then you recognize that even in your choices, career, mm-hmm. people, husband, wife, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, can you be someone who can understand and nurture and support my purpose? Mm-hmm. So for me, purpose is a calling. Yeah. And I think when we are able to actually detect that, understand that, Mm -hmm. even our choices do change. That's true. Many people go in marriage without knowing their callings, without knowing their purpose. And then you choose whatever. It's like, you know, you remember how we used to study back then? Mm -hmm. They'd be like, you know, oh, I know I want to study, let's see, literature. Mm -hmm. Oh, literature is not going to pay you. Go Mm -hmm. study this. I know. And it's not your thing. And it's not your thing. And you come back to that later. (laughs) When it comes to marriage, Mm -hmm. I think more than anything, Mm -hmm. you can feel those butterflies flies feeling your stomach mm. love mm. but if you don't understand where you're heading as a person yeah that thing that drives you make you pack your things and be like i'm gonna live in canada i'm feeling kigari <laughs> then for me wait mm. don't bring the other person in life but without the, knowing there's the other thing i'm always like you know we might not understand something mm-hmm. but are we willing to learn are exactly. you a learner are you someone who's like, you know, there are things that I don't, I don't understand. I'm going in this vision with the understanding, but together, mm-hmm. can we be willing to, un- to, to question, but, to ask? Okay. Mm-hmm. My question is, that's, that's a very interesting point. But mm-hmm. my question is, um, as, as you say, purpose, and I think it reflects with the first thing that you said, self-identity before mm-hmm. connectedness. So for you, you need to be able to be self-aware in before you actually get married that's yes. that's the, the strong point you're standing on yes okay so let's say you are lucky enough to be self-aware mm-hmm. you have identified your purpose as 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 lydia mm-hmm. now you meet this person how would you know 
not from they're saying oh i know my purpose but how mm. how would you know so that they are? this is why there's courtship or some call it dating mm. depending on how they they view the before entering the marriage mm -hmm. you're not gonna meet someone and then the next minute you are married so you're saying take your time yeah no it's not even about taking your time it's mm -hmm. about like you know this conversation that lead to deciding mm -hmm. i want you to be my wife or i'm okay with you being my my husband mm -hmm. this whole conversation if you are someone with a calling already yes i'm gonna meet you oh my god a spark oh handsome oh beautiful but then Remember someone who says, mm -hmm. the minute people, you can look at the people however they look, mm -hmm. but the minute they open their mouth, <laughs> you know or the minute is, yeah. you talk to them, then you're going to learn more about them. True. So this is more about like, you know, I'm meeting you. Let's see, I'm courting you or I'm dating you. Mm -hmm. This is not just me sitting with you. Mm -hmm. I always tell my girlfriends, mm -hmm. I know many people want to marry and it's going to be like, you know, oh, me and my man, no, my, nobody yeah, else. Man, man, man. My man <laughs> and my woman, we don't need family around us. We can do it. But I want to remind you, the man you mar marry or the woman, there is family in it and you cannot disconnect that part no matter what, whether mm -hmm. you like it or not. Mm -hmm. And when I say recognizing somebody else's purpose, I meet you. It's not just me and you on date. I want to hang out with you them, in yeah. other areas. Mm -hmm. Can I hang out with you maybe with your coworkers, church, community, setting. sport, where you hang? Can I visit your family? Mm -hmm. Can we spend the time there? Because mm -hmm. I want to see, you know, how do that, does their family argue? Mm -hmm. How do they enjoy life? How do they, because whatever, however they are doing life. And when I say the community that built it, it's not just family. It can be most of the time or the years where you have where you have spent most of your time. Mm -hmm. These people are going to have an influence of you. Mm -hmm. So when you are dating someone, for me, go beyond sitting in a restaurant dating two people. Just go beyond that. Mm -hmm. Visit them outside of the of the romantic dates. See who they are. Yeah. see who they are and from me then you're gonna start understanding maybe my calling let's see from me i identify my calling as teaching and hope right mm. sharing hope mm. then i meet someone they are calling let's see it's something else mm. we don't need to have the same calling mm. but because they have a self-awareness they understand themselves it will be like you know i'm gonna respect her calling yeah the minute you have a self-awareness mm. you wouldn't wish anyone to change for you okay. you will actually 100%. wish that they flourish in who they are because more i flourish in me as vidya mm -hmm. you're gonna benefit my joy and i'm oh, yeah. gonna benefit oh, your yeah. joy oh yeah mm -hmm. that's true that's true wow that's intense that's deep i wasn't ready for that <laughs> yeah but um wow so now what are the challenges because every every time we hear marriage is hard marriage is challenging <laughs> i want to know why is it so hard and why do people crave it what are the benefits and mm -hmm. what are the things that make it challenging you know what um whenever i speak to people especially that i've been married now i'm a separated person they're always like you know oh sorry oh my god things like that but i think as we grow we mm -hmm. see things differently from me Yes, I expected or wished for a forever thing, for yeah. God's sake. Is forever real, though? <laughs> Let's another... go back on that. Let's... <laughs> mm, no, we are, I'm not going to skip that. Oh, my God. Okay, We're okay. just saying marriage is not a fairy tale. Guys, forever this is, is a, a conversation. Fairy tale. What do you think? It's a, fer it's I a think fairy tale? forever is a fairy tale. Forever does not exist. Marriage, when you go to say your vows or whatever, they say they use that word forever a lot. And yes. in my understanding, again, blame my practicality. Mm -hmm. In my understanding, mm -hmm. me, you, if you get married, mm -hmm. you either get separated by divorce or by death. Okay. One of you is going to die because it's only 1% that's mm -hmm. going to die together, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there is a loss that comes with love. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how old marriage, that's how. Mm -hmm. So when you say forever, for me, it's sorry, but it's it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay um i think maybe that comes with faith based background as well mm. oh, culture to okay no, no no it can be culture background faith based belief as okay. well mm -hmm. We're, we we come from 
you know a a culture mm -hmm. let's see for us we are randans african maybe mm -hmm. black all of that mm -hmm. and the majority believe that when we get married mm -hmm. it's me and you forever until death do, do us part and actually many cultures believe that because and i understand when you build a life with someone mm -hmm. and most of the time kids are involved mm -hmm. You know, there's so much that comes in in nurturing a family mm -hmm. and adding more or going different ways can actually create more chaos than continuing to building that, continuing to building that family together to the next generation. Mm -hmm. So I think there's also thinking about risk, benefit of raising a family marriage when we are together, benefit more than when we are no longer together. Union fait la force. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you said mm -hmm. that better in French, union, whatever I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for me, you know, that, that's... Mm -hmm. Sometimes you meet people and they're like, you know, you should pray more. God can fix your marriage. Like, <laughs> like in my situation, True. everybody that I meet, oh my God, oh, this, oh, let's pray about it. I'm going to pray for, I'm like, why do you feel the need though? Mm. What if maybe, you know, sometimes we wish for things, but then there's another outcome yeah. and then we learn to appreciate that outcome mm -hmm. for life to go on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know and i'm gonna be honest with you i can speak for women mm. sometimes people are like you know maybe you didn't work hard maybe <laughs> you didn't you didn't want this maybe you changed things oh, like that wow. but every single person i believe they're fighting to really for that forever exactly and everyone likes good stuff yeah. nobody is gonna take themselves into pain yeah pain and to respond to, to that question <laughs> i think forever is good mm -hmm. right especially when there are kids involved it's a good thing, but then when it doesn't happen, I believe there's another forever that we can create. Exactly. For me, I'm like, you know, even if you're no longer husband and wife, for me, you are my family forever. He is a family because member, as as this is my people. perspective. This is not my other person. Now I cannot speak on somebody else. Everyone, this yeah. is how I see things. I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, this is the person who have seen you oh, yeah. naked at your lowest. <laughs> yeah. You know, why would I wish to keep you. not keep this maybe relationship we have created in another way? Mm. Because when my kids graduate, this person is going to be there. They Their marriage, mm -hmm. worse and better, they're going to be there. Mm -hmm. Then what's better? For me, how can you create another option that can be like, you know, maybe the forever now is family. Mm -hmm. It is family. And you already for me, built something together. I'm not encouraging anyone to see their forever in a different way. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, you know, it's the way we are going to mm. mature yep. and see life and actually continue to benefit from it mm -hmm. and encouraging stronger communities. I, I don't know. No, that's true. That's true. But eh. yeah, but what are the challenges? We've talked about all the good things about mm -hmm. family and marriage. What are the challenges? Because we keep hearing that left and right mm -hmm. marriage is hard what are the main challenges in your opinion because i believe can i hear from a... you first as okay. someone who is single mm -hmm. as someone because i know many people when they hear marriage they're like you know this is scary it is like i never hear someone who's positive about marriage mm -hmm. these are my fear i want to get married but then you know single people are like i don't want to be alone it's like there is a line mm -hmm. this is hard but then i don't want to be alone mm -hmm. i want to have someone to build life with mm -hmm. can you tell me what do you think are the challenges that you observe from outside mm -hmm. that you think that are imp impacting marriages to flourish on to you know, based on your views yeah yes. based on my personal views mm -hmm. i believe there's so many things that change from the way marriage marriage was constructed in the first place mm -hmm. and the whole reason for people to get married mm -hmm. i believe that before time people didn't even have to get to know each other on a depth level that we think it should be done today mm -hmm. that you know someone trusted you enough someone that cares about your family member mm -hmm. and they they make sure that you meet another person from a good family and then you get married and yes those marriages lasted i don't know the content mm -hmm. i mean the insides the ins and out of those mm -hmm. old marriages mm -hmm. But um, now it's like there's, um, I feel like there's so many distractions and so many information mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and people are getting more sensitive. Yes. That's why even the rates of mental health is increasing. Mm -hmm. uh, people have lost their resilience. Mm -hmm. But the main, main issue for me personally is mm -hmm. technology. There's okay. pros and cons mm -hmm. of technology. Mm -hmm. 
example dating <laughs> apps dating mm. apps are a great way to meet people mm -hmm. but also i feel like people are not using it as if they're meeting human beings right mm -hmm. so like let's say when i order a coffee i go and tell how my coffee i want it i'm yes. like okay i want a matcha Put, put in oatmeal, mm -hmm. uh, two sugars, two cream, whatever. Don't remind me the matcha. <laughs> is it the matcha oh, latte? Oh, by the way, that was I ordered bad. a matcha like, latte. Sorry. And she said she wanted one, and then she got it, but she still says it's disgusting. For my matcha okay. latte lovers, please. If you're a matcha friendly. latte, please stay away from me. <laughs> no, that's a, that's that tastes like grass. She was like, it's disgusting. No. No, that's the mm, best sorry. version mm -hmm. of lattes. But mm -hmm. anyway, back mm -hmm. to the point. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you order a coffee, you have what you want, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the same for dating apps. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I want a six-feet-tall man. I want a six-figure owner. I mm -hmm. want a six, I don't know what. Mm -hmm. But then I forget that a human being has layers yes. and layers, right? Yes. So now you go meet that person. If you're lucky, you find that person <laughs> on a dating app, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> After so many scrolls mm -hmm. and you get excited, you get to meet them. So it takes away already the mystery of wanting to know the person, which yes. I think is a very, it's a necessary step to mm -hmm. get to know a person. Mm -hmm. And now you get to know the person. And then once another layer shows up, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want that. That's not what I want, mm -hmm. right? And you're like, oh no, fuck you. Well, sorry, love <laughs> <laughs> like fuck you i can find another better yes. onto the next one yes. right because you found them there it's mm. like a market it's like a market yes. now you're like okay let me go order something new right but mm -hmm. you forget that it's a person with mm -hmm. feelings with mm -hmm. uh, who's gonna feel uh rejection which gonna affect their self-esteem mm -hmm. and now the mental health is affected and now they're gonna get scared to commit to another thing again mm -hmm. do you see that yes the whole pattern yeah. of behavior it, that's the, the the new generation today. yeah I think that's the big challenge. And then now, because mm -hmm. again, with technology, people can do so much alone, right? Mm -hmm. Is it efficient? No. Is it sustainable? No. Yes. That's why you still crave another person. But like, you know what? I'm a woman, but you know, I can order my groceries in. I don't need to carry them. I don't need no yes. man. Um, I, I'm a woman. I'm earning my money. I don't need extra income. Mm -hmm. But guess what? No one was meant to do life alone. Mm -hmm. But do you think women are doing that because they think they can do it alone or because yes, women have been conditioned to actually not to expect any help? It's like, you know, even when we get it, especially for black women, mm. it's like, even when we get it, it's like a privilege. I know many have been like, you know, in different space with women mm. and many few years ago, mm -hmm. I, I used to be this part of this ministry that I co-founded called Upendo Ministry it has like over 200 women. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we saw a woman who had the man who take care of things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Even if they say this man is a cheater, we'd be like, you know what? Keep that because this man mm -hmm. is actually, mm -hmm. you know, providing, supporting and mm -hmm. all of that. You can have everything in one. And I think when we use the, the term like, you know, oh, women think like, you know, they got it all. Women think like, you know, they can do things. I feel like, you know, at some point we find ourselves in a situation where over the time you actually stop expecting that support because and you build like, it. you know, a sh is it like a shed? Like it's a, a shield, yeah. A shield around you mm -hmm. where you like, you know what? I'm going to prepare myself. If I get support, it's a bonus, but otherwise I'm on my own. Yeah, I get that. But mm -hmm. again, it's not part of marriage. I, feel, okay. I personally feel like marriage mm -hmm. is a partnership. Mm -hmm. So if you get to that point where doing things alone, that's when you open the window for communicating with your partner mm -hmm. and be like, okay, something's not going right. Because mm -hmm. I believe every person can feel when they're overwhelmed. Yes. You feel when you're doing things alone. And I don't think it's a good feeling. It Single, is married, not. whatever. We mm -hmm. are not meant, and we're not talking in terms of marriage alone, even even business. You can't build mm -hmm. the whole business by yourself. You need to be connected to the right people. This is bringing Again, me right to right what people. you asked. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the challenge? And I think mm -hmm. you just said it mm -hmm. because back then, you know, every generation come to respond to the previous generation and met need. Mm -hmm. And I think the millennial generation, we are carrying so much. Oh, yeah. You know, the previous one had land, families, uncles, cows, <laughs> farms. you know, farms, cows. We had nothing. Yeah. We we have nothing. From, and yeah. this is a generation where like, you know, the man and the woman have to work two, three jobs. Oh yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> now we are raising kids. The minute they are outside of your womb, it's like, you know, mom, I want to be this and that and that. And mm -hmm. I require this and that and that. Mm -hmm. The minute you're not doing it, oh my God, I have to do it. So my, 
child, child 10 years from now yeah. they don't go to therapy be like my <laughs> parent did not do that yeah. it's like you know it is so hard out there for millennials mm -hmm. and then the expectations are high oh yeah build Because a career so get a house mm -hmm. and also make sure you have a sustain a, a, you sustain a relationship because by the way you, you have therapy mm -hmm. by the way you know you can talk about things mm -hmm. but then do you know what we're missing mm -hmm. what the it takes a village support it takes yeah uh, all it my village, kids call it community i remember for the first time when i had my third mm -hmm. child mm -hmm. this is the first time no maybe when i had my first in rwanda mm -hmm. i had my friends coming to help me yeah. staying over but i know when i had my second in canada holy jesus out of uh, c-section no oh. support people coming for a minute <laughs> But then my, my third, I remember this uh, friend, uh, shout out to Grace, she's from Montreal. She mm -hmm. came to stay for like a few weeks mm -hmm. at home and all of that. However, it's not enough. It is not. You know, this is, you know, not only, it's both. It's the it, Western world. You know, we don't have that support. Things we are taking to therapy, this used to be, there's an issue in your couple. Okay, parent, marraine, or both families coming together. Mm -hmm. There's not even an excuse. You're going to sit down and build your family. Both of you go back, forgive each other, and build your family. Yes, at some point it created some wounds, yeah. but then it also worked. Because we knew that if my woman leave, I know my dad is going to tell me to go get my woman. Yeah. The, the family is going to come together. Mm -hmm. Not only one family. Both, Both of them. family are going to come together, do a meeting, and then fix our marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, if we don't have money to go therapy to therapy... Yeah. Who's going to help us? The notion, it's so sad because the notion of family is slowly fading. Yes. Because now we are in, um, how can I call it? In a transactional kind of environment. Yes. Right? And at the end of the day, family is the main core of everything. If yes. We, whatever we need to get, Honestly speaking, whatever development I agree a country with needs, you. it starts within and the family. And my heart is bleeding on it's, that. It's breaking. It's breaking now. But I think it's also the fact that, let's say for us, by the way, for those who don't know, we are all from Rwanda and mm -hmm. we live in Canada. Mm -hmm. We all immigrated from miles and miles away yes. from our families, away from everything. So if mm -hmm. you are lucky to find a partner, you rely on them. Yes. Uh, and for most people, they don't have like a, di a family dynamic that's steady yes. because of distance, because of a lot of things, maybe issues, maybe that resilience we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So now you're thinking you're going to build your own family without following your previous family, yes. which is going to be challenging because if you can live alone for a long time, it's hard now to be in a family setting. it's like we we're building a whole new family dynamic on yeah. how to survive alone yeah and which... families are not meant to be like that yeah. let's even go back to because maybe the topic is about marriage but at the end of the day marriage family it's, it's like this, you know they're tied together yeah. and you know when you say things that are challenging new couples that lead to all the crises and chaos mm. i think that part we need role models yeah we, we need, need you know models. It takes a village mm -hmm. where when there is an issue, before we think about 200 of an hour in therapy, mm -hmm. who's available in the community? Yeah. Who's available That's not true. being biased to recognize that I'm here to really support this couple, this young family. Mm -hmm. I remember this person called me a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and then he was like, really like, like I need help. Mm -hmm. Anyone who can help me to fix this, my marriage, I don't know who to call. I look around in the community and he's a man. Mm. He's like, you know, and I'm like, I'm gonna help you, but most of my perspective are going to be women biased, yeah. biased but I'm gonna do my best. Mm -hmm. And I was actually trying to look in the community. Who can I say, you know, which person can I recommend to? And we're speaking about different people, and then it'll be like, you know, I tried that, I tried that, things like that. And it was like, you know, we are so desperate to have that community support. Yeah. And I think, honestly speaking, there's this person who said, if we have to fix our countries, cultures, marriages, at some point, you're going to go back to the indigenous ways mm -hmm. and learn their ways mm -hmm. and maybe update them, or whatever, mm -hmm. but try to imitate them to really survive, try to have our marriages and families survive. Yeah. And that was the new world. The new world is taking us to. It reminds me of something I read recently. Um, I think it was from uh, this woman. And mm -hmm. she was saying, 
like the changes that have been done mm-hmm. during the years when we talk about marriage, they say that we use, I, I think you probably read that somewhere mm-hmm. or seen it. We used to marry till death to us apart. Yes. That's the commonality mm-hmm. of marriage. But mm-hmm. now guess what? We marry till love dies. That's oh why divorce cases That's increase deep. every single day. Right. Mm-hmm. And let's say we used to have sex for the first time mm-hmm. when we get married. Mm-hmm. Right. That mm-hmm. has been taught within us. Yes. But now we marry and we stop having sex with others. Wow. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And you know how they say that monogamy. Yes. Everyone defines monogamy alone. But mm-hmm. I mean uh, in a different way. Mm-hmm. But you, monogamy has always been one person for life. Yes. That was the meaning of mm-hmm. monogamy. Guess what the meaning of monogamy is today? Mm-hmm. Monogamy today is one person at a time. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a new update. And guess what? People still say, oh, I'm monogamous in all my relationships. Mm-hmm. But that's not the real. So the norms are changing so yes. fast. And that's why we see so many changes. But it mm-hmm. does not remove the main core. For me personally, the reason I think, yes, marriage is important. It's because... Everyone that was created, for those who believe in God, Mm -hmm. they required a man and a woman to make a baby. You know, the other thing I can say, on top of community, um, because the rest, everything we talk about is going to be inside the community. Either Mm -hmm. faith, beliefs, or intimacy, it's going to be in the community. Mm -hmm. So, other things I can add on, faith is important oh, yeah. because faith creates resilience in us. Oh, yeah. Recognizing that even if this season is tough, mm-hmm. I know they're going to be better season. Mm-hmm. And when you use the word, when we marry, love dies, mm-hmm. for me, does not love, it does not die. This is where the purpose comes in, mm-hmm. right? I am with you because we decided this journey together oh, yeah. and love is no longer a feeling. I have a commitment, a commitment to you. It's... And this commitment, everything else that I do, mm-hmm. every career that I choose, it's not just for my kids. It's for all of all us. Of us Whatever family. you do, now you are looking for everybody inside that home. Yeah. Then that purpose is actually drive a powerful love, mm-hmm. the unconditional love, mm-hmm. which means that I love you. You are family. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't even know how I can define it. However, I I I think a part of intimacy in marriages. Mm -hmm. Something I've observed, um, I'm a new uh, psychotherapist qualified. And I'm going to tell you, some of the conversation you have with people, Mm -hmm. it's like, you know, I've I've observed something. Mm -hmm. And tell me what what you all think. Mm -hmm. I've observed, and I think this we can have it in as another topic, mm-hmm. lack of intimacy in marriages. Okay, what do you, before you go there, what do you define intimacy? Sex? Okay, or? no. Okay. Intimacy okay. can be more than that, but for this particular conversation, yeah, it's going to gonna sex. be, you know, sexual, okay. Okay. everything, yeah. intimacy, romantic, sexual in a marriage, mm-hmm. deeper. And I've seen that. Mm-hmm. I've seen another interpretation mm-hmm. that couples use mm-hmm. because they don't understand that the core issue is lack of intimacy or lack of the unmet needs oh. of intimacy in a marriage. Mm-hmm. It's like it goes like this. The man will be like, you know, the woman will be like, you know, my man is always angry, tough, uh-huh. yelling. Mm-hmm. You know, doesn't love me, care for me anymore. You know, I don't think he loves me. I don't. Mm-hmm. And then the man will be like, you know, my woman doesn't respect me, doesn't value me. I don't feel like a man here. Things mm-hmm. like that. There's always she doesn't respect me. He doesn't care for me. Mm-hmm. And then most of the time when that happens, it leads to many things. Then because I don't feel that. Then involves punishment, mm-hmm. in, involves avoidance, oh, yeah. involves until there's there are twenty thousand issues that are so hard to fix. And when you go back, mm-hmm. the main core intimacy, you know, it's something beautiful that mm-hmm. God really created for like you know couples, mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah, and. A cultural thing can be something. The communication. <laughs> yeah. You know, as we go, as we experience, mm-hmm. we want more. Mm-hmm. We we want to learn more. We want to experience more. Mm-hmm. And most of the time I've seen that due to cultural beliefs, yeah. Beliefs, yeah. 
it can be like if I communicate that I long for this, this person either is going to judge me. Yeah. If yes, I re- <laughs> if I request this, mm-hmm. oh my goodness. And many people will go outside try to find that outside other than in their partners that's good and then that intimacy issue i'm gonna be honest with you it is a bigger issue in many marriages Mm -hmm. and many people do not realize that without that even if you can have those purpose Mm -hmm. even if you can have like you know faith strong this piece right here is the spice of the marriage yeah and for me personally i think it stems again i'll speak from mm-hmm. from a perspective of an african person yes. around this person living in canada mm-hmm. um i think it stems from that the gender roles okay um, okay the gender roles um as we started this podcast mm-hmm. lydia was saying that since women are born and we're talking in our culture because mm-hmm. i know that we have listeners from everywhere mm-hmm. but um Lydia was saying that as a woman, it's like you are expected to be a wife. Even at a young age, you think the goal Mm -hmm. is to be a wife, is to be married, right? And when they say a wife, then that means one partner for life, right? You keep thinking it's one person. When I find the right person, this is when I'm going to have sex. And for people who are religious, it's another layer, Mm -hmm. right? For men, on the contrary, Mm -hmm. nobody tells them anything when okay. they're adolescents right mm-hmm. when they're adolescents they go to school and guess what they brag about the girls they're talking to within okay. each other us as women even if you brag that this guy is talking to me you won't say two guys are talking In to trouble. you because it seems like or like oh this guy even if you do it it's gonna be a shame associated to mm-hmm. that and people think that once i'm married the shame is gonna go away it does not it does not if you've always looked at intimacy or sex as a taboo as a stigma mm. if you've always been afraid of being naked it's not just gonna disappear because you're married yeah because sex for you many take... women is equal when you are an adolescent equal you're gonna get pregnant you're equal, gonna get pregnant an STI, like, equal, once you open your legs they... that's it nobody gives you any education that's yes. how we grew up but those men right for them, even feeling like a man from the way they're young to the mm-hmm. way it's like meeting a lot of girls. Like, oh, I have a lot of girls. It's a flex, right? No woman will tell you, oh my gosh, I have, unless now, but we're talking back mm-hmm. then. I have a lot of men. It's a flex. They're going to look, you're a hoe. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how are you changing boyfriends all the time? You're mm-hmm. a hoe. But a man is going to be a player. It's a flex. Oh, it's a bad boy. It's mm-hmm. cute. It's attractive. So mm-hmm. the, we, we keep that mentality within marriage. Mm-hmm. So that's why you find that intimacy is hard. For women, the, some of them will still feel that shame. It will mm-hmm. be hard for them to even, you know, get naked in front of their men. While for men, they're used to having multiple. And now yes. it's like, I can't just settle for one. Yeah, it's like for them, they have the confidence already. Yeah. Whether they know what they're doing or not, they have the confidence. They don't care. Yeah. But for us women, you know, sex, you will say that it is associated with shame. With shame and guilt that's and really fear deep. and fear. And, mm. you know, so it's, it's, I think that's where it stems from. Mm-hmm. But we are glad that we're now in a, in a world mm-hmm. where it's spoken more. Some women know, like, so would you, pleasure. would you encourage women to explore Please, I more? I would encourage every okay, woman okay, to okay. have a whole face. I'm sorry, but like, have oh, a okay. face before you're married because yes. you're never gonna know your body as a woman i don't care how mm-hmm. you do it some people again depends on your comfortability level but be safe whatever you do <laughs> please safety comes first because there's diseases out there it's mm-hmm. nasty mm-hmm. but every woman deserves to have a whole face yeah and it's not even just physical illnesses mm-hmm. it's spiritual as well because huh. who you engage with can actually not only impact your physical health but also your spiritual and mental health. So you believe in the whole notion of soul ties? Soul ties. I, I think, I don't know if I can call that soul ties. Because for me, for a human being to be whole, mm-hmm. it involves three areas. Body, spirit, soul. Body, yeah. Is it body, spirit, soul? Yeah, body, soul, and spirit. Yeah. yeah. So when I'm connecting with someone, I think there's someone who was saying that it's a person going inside your body. And mm-hmm. at some point you might exchange some blood. Oh, in yeah. a way oh, yeah. so the whole human being comes and out when you act. see couples separating there are breaks up there, there are break breakups right mm-hmm. and most of the time it's not just you know it goes from the physical part mm-hmm. right i spend this time with you then you feel it in your heart mm-hmm. In your soul in your spirit you try to heal from that because what you exchanged went beyond the physical 
Mm. And, you know, when we can say, you know, people go out, they explore, but also recognize who am I exploring with? Because... But see, for me then, mm-hmm. when it gets to sp- sp- the spiritual maybe stuff... I'm, maybe I'm being too deep. No, no, <laughs> it is deep. And, it's, and you're right at some mm-hmm. point. But for me, when it gets to spiritual stuff, mm-hmm. I really don't believe it's the sex though. I believe okay. it's the amount of time you spend. You think people who are virgins or gay married virgins, they don't have soul ties? They have soul ties of boyfriends mm-hmm. they never mm-hmm. had sex with. Mm-hmm. So it's the energy, it's the amount of time you're giving this person, it's the emotions affiliated with that, it's the feelings that you mm-hmm. get. I don't think it's restricted to sex. Mm-hmm. That's just me, right? Mm-hmm. But me, when it gets to sex, it's just having, it's the consent is there, yes. Mm-hmm. And do, do we know the ins, you know, like what we should do? And mm-hmm. it's safety for me, personally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think the spiritual is... It's the amount of time you're giving the person, it's the feelings exchange, is the, is the, is the. But then it is associated. there, and I think maybe we're gonna have another conversation about yeah. intimacy. Yeah. <laughs> because for me, spirituality is everything. I think even our whole being, mm-hmm. before we are physical, we are we're spiritual. spiritual beings, so so yeah. whatever we exchange, there is actually something being exchanged that is powerful. And, you know, and also about beliefs, I respect you, mm. but I think that's something to consider. But let's go back in marriage and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, that's going to be, dead. if Next you want us to have a conversation intimacy about intimacy, and sex. you know, in depth, please, you know, See, sexuality. Yeah, for me, intimacy is not just sex. There's though. actually it's this woman who told me that depth. she wants to explore that conversation, especially, oh, you know, that book we're reading, the sex of african women yeah 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 Yeah. so i'm actually interested in learning so much Mm -hmm. because at some point you know both of us are christians Mm -hmm. but then we recognize that Mm -hmm. i am gonna tell you that that part you shared shame Mm -hmm. and sex Mm -hmm. yeah for women it is something yeah and it's not and we are you know for many women are expecting for men Maybe to make them comfortable enough Mm -hmm. to remove that shame. But at some point, it is not their responsibility. And I think what you're saying, how do we really teach women Mm -hmm. to learn about themselves, appreciate themselves? Maybe even if that belief for them is like, you know, sex when I'm married, Mm -hmm. but how, because I believe that conversation can happen too. That conversation, not, not everyone is called to feel like you know i have to explore real but somebody can be like you know i want to really keep it until i get married Mm -hmm. but how do i prepare Mm -hmm. myself to recognize myself maybe that's a conversation we need to have it's a conversation and it's it's broad i personally feel like everyone has Mm -hmm. um a way they want to explore sex Mm -hmm. you know everyone has a way that feels safe for them Mm -hmm. that's why i keep saying very first rule of having sex is safety yeah because if you follow someone else's rule like go explore before you get married you might not feel safe because Mm -hmm. your whole a belief is something that's rooted somewhere Mm -hmm. in your subconscious it's hard to deracinate something Mm -hmm. that you have believed in so long so if safety means marriage first Mm -hmm. by all means i will say safety and freedom yeah because there is safety yes i know i'm safe Mm -hmm. but the beauty of sex or intimacy is freedom freedom. because the minute two people are so free within their body confidence in who they are really loving themselves i think that action and whatever may be you don't need to be an expert Mm -hmm. i think can be always beautiful and Mm -hmm. when i say the lack of intimacy in marriages is a problem is because even if you are saying that men grew up with that confidence nobody even think about uh, bridal showers Mm. we come together (laughs) teaching women or make sure you buy like good lingerie so you can prepare for your man Mm -hmm. Uh, perfume lotion and men they take them for a drink assuming that they know what they're doing yeah and most of them don't and most of the time (laughs) then when that intimacy happen there's two things Mm -hmm. men women we go you know, this is a cultural thing again mm-hmm. for us where we come from. Yeah. It's more of like, you know, going in there like as a receiver mm. and then the man expected to be a giver. Mm. That means my man going to know what he's doing so I can be satisfied. Mm-hmm. Forgetting that, I always tell people this theory that I made in my mind mm. was that to a couple having an intimate uh, moment, mm. 
for a woman it's like opening a door to a house mm. with no light where you're gonna have to guide no your guidance. guests yeah. <laughs> in every corner where they're gonna tell you where mm. do i go upstairs okay. do i mm -hmm. go downstairs i don't know what i'm going I guide me I'm doing. <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean mm -hmm. even if even if i've been in many houses mm -hmm. or even if i've studied in theory what the house is Zero but guidance. to explore better and so that there is someone falling down or maybe missing a point the host is gonna guide me oh yeah so and i think when women are so free to guide in that way you know i think it can be i think that's something that i encourage for women yeah. when thinking about exploring and recognizing you're gonna be you're gonna be free and you're gonna be mindful that you are the host yeah so guide so people can know where they are going mm -hmm. anyhow uh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> Intimacy and sex is a big thing and yeah. uh, we'll explore it in our next thing, but yeah. I'm going to I'm going to um go back to you were before uh, this intimacy mm -hmm. conversation started when you were talking about challenges mm -hmm. that are uh, in marriages and this is mm -hmm. one thing that you found in your recent research that mm -hmm. it's a thing. But I think for me, I think most couples fight um they fight with honestly, I feel like all issues stem from three things, mm -hmm. right? Um, there is closeness and care, right? Mm -hmm. Which is when you were saying that one person will say like, oh, my man don't respect me. Another one is like, um, my man don't care about me yes. and my woman doesn't respect me. Mm -hmm. It's closeness and care. And then there is, I would say, like power and control. Yes. Because some some women want to feel like they're powerful in their relationship and some mm -hmm. men are like, no. And then another one will be like, you're controlling me. So power and control goes together. Mm -hmm. And then another will be like, recognition and respect and this comes back to what you were saying that um in the beginning that if mm -hmm. you are expected to to do something sometimes you you were saying something about you rely you don't rely to uh, you don't rely on another person because mm -hmm. you're used to do things yourself right because mm -hmm. even if you're doing that thing to help the the marriage you're mm -hmm. not being recognized for it yes you know even when you wash dishes for example you know mm -hmm. you're a woman and it's been known that okay women do the household mm -hmm. chores you want that little recognition of but like, then that goes back to love to 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 um love language no not everybody care when they're recognized for what they did sometimes let me give you an example if my love language is physical touch it's and you are complimenting me over, oh, good job on dishes, good job on cleaning, good job on that income, mm -hmm. and forgetting to touch me, hug me, mm -hmm. I'll be like, what are you doing? I'm not feeling anything. Yeah. I think then it's about, I think we said it, recognizing after the wedding, there is, oh, now there's two different languages in the family. How do I get to know you, the language you speak, Mm -hmm. And how do we? Yes. No, no. I I get that, but mm -hmm. you. I think we're we're talking about two different things because mm -hmm. you're talking about love languages, so that's a way they connect. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about people fight most about. It's not one thing or another, but it all stems from. If you think about any issue that you had with a man, mm -hmm. you'll find that it stems from those six things: mm -hmm. power and control, respect and recognition, and closeness and care. Yeah, it goes back to when there is a say that when a man marries, they marry hoping that the woman will never change. Mm. When a woman marry, they marry hoping that their man will change. Just so, so you know, he's so, not a pad. He's not so, going to change. So, <laughs> no. So the thing is, okay. you know, mm -hmm. what happened is that men are expecting that this is my soft, sweet woman. I will be able to be in control for the rest of my life mm -hmm. or many things as a man mm -hmm. as the provider as the head of the family mm -hmm. and then the woman will be like you know you know what even if there are things i feel like i don't agree with but i believe my man will change mm -hmm. then guess what the minute we get there recognize that it's not a battle of who's changing or who's not mm -hmm. then it's more of like you know do i respect your purpose and calling do you respect my man how can I create an environment where you flourish mm. and myself I'm able, and you say that, mm -hmm. recognition. Mm -hmm. My calling as well, someone recognize who I am yeah. and respect that. And because the self-identity need is met, mm. now the power of connectedness is stronger. Yeah. Because when my man stand there in their calling, 
I'm like, you got me. Mm -hmm. When I stand there, you got me. Then there's no competition. Yeah. Whatever. When you flourish, we flourish. When mm -hmm. I flourish, we flourish mm -hmm. because this is a union. Mm -hmm. Then the recognition is stronger. Connection is stronger. Then for me, that's why I go hard on marry for purpose, not just for love. Because yeah, when then, a purpose is stronger. Yeah. But that that's that so that's why for me I think purpose yes it's pro, it's a proper term but it's broad it's broad because there is compatibility is compatibility part of purpose yes and because purpose is everything it's actually life in itself it's why you are out of your mother right mm -hmm. womb this is it's why the reason you created the, okay think about your reason of being your reason of existing mm -hmm. let's let's explore this I see Haisa first as a human being. When Haisa become a mother and she feels like, you know, you know what? I don't think I like doing this with my baby. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be like, oh, Haisa is a mother and a girl. Therefore, she should be expected to be a mother in this way. I'm going to first see you, my partner, as a human being. Mm -hmm. For me, a purpose and a calling is the reason why I'm created. Is the reason why I am here. When someone see me in that way mm -hmm. and then really support me or maybe provide advice in respecting that my woman or mm -hmm. my man is operating and are their best mm -hmm. in who they are called to be let's see let's think about haisa right mm -hmm. you are a creative person you are i can see where you are in that environment creating uh you know building things haisa is like this is haisa right mm -hmm. and then you meet someone most of the time it's like you know you know haisa I think this creativity, first of all, you're not even making money. <laughs> Secondly, I don't feel like this is a waste of time. Maybe you don't even have the face for influencers. <laughs> you see those things? Mm -hmm. You know what? I think Raissa, I think it would be good as uh, maybe a communication officer in an office it's somewhere. Stop, mm -hmm. stop, stop, stop going. That's social media. Stop it. And for me, what if all of that, even if it's not paying you, mm -hmm. It's, it's fulfilling, it's fulfilling mm -hmm. you. Maybe is it affecting my family? Mm -hmm. Is it affecting the time? But even if it is, maybe if it was five hours a week, the conversation can be, oh, Haisa, maybe how about I take one hour from my time and you take one hour from your creativity so, so we can do this together as something. But what happens most of the time is like, you know, we meet people, we think our calling is stronger, mm -hmm. then we want to pull people in our calling because we think we're better or we're making more money. Yeah. This is what a problem is. Then there's competition, there's fight mm -hmm. because we are not allowing each other to flourish within our calling. True, true. But then this takes me back to, do you believe marriage is is um is is necessary for a fulfilling life because you could be fulfilled in your purpose yeah without no being no I, I wouldn't say that because people have different callings yeah. we have even a priest who yeah priest for like, example you know, my life i'm gonna serve the community without being married and mm -hmm. this is who i am even think about disciples of jesus yeah most of them i don't see the story of them being we have different callings in life yeah or even like you know our who are mm -hmm. the like things the like nuns, that yeah yeah so we have yeah, for some callings. people, it's it's yes. like it's a restrictive institution that limits personal growth and purpose yeah. and freedom. It's like uh, it's like there's even people. I like, think about motherhood. Not mm -hmm. all women want to become mothers. Oh yeah. Some women can be like you know you know what I think there's a friend of mine who say all the students that came across my presence these are my children mm -hmm. and I feel satisfied mm -hmm. when I see them outside flourishing graduating doing mm -hmm. things I'm like wow you know I'm satisfied so we have different callings i yeah. wouldn't say that that's good you know marriage is a beautiful thing mm -hmm. and uh you know i think i touched based on that one for me i've been in a relationship with my the, the father of my children mm -hmm. since i'm 17 maybe we separated when i'm 35 mm -hmm. and you know that forever thing mm -hmm. we spoke about for me it can be in different ways. Oh, yeah. We all long for that marriage, that forever, and it's beautiful mm -hmm. to sustain families for the for the health of the for the well being of the children, mm -hmm. continuing generation legacy, and avoiding or maybe making sure that there is functional families, right? Yeah. However, if it's not working for me, this is a promise I made to myself. I'm like. 
this marriage did not work, mm -hmm. but I believe this person who saw me naked, who mm -hmm. saw me at my lowest, mm -hmm. who knows my weaknesses, my strength more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. For me, this person is family forever. Yes. I might but not share this together. belief with them, mm -hmm. but for me, that's how I see now. I did not, I did not get that chance to the forever marriage, mm -hmm. but I think for me, how I see that family situation a, a family is a forever family kids, situation yeah, because, because we have built and created this important human being together yeah. that are going to bring us together uh, I was like it or grandchildren <laughs> mm -hmm. or it's like a whole generation yeah. that we created whether I'm married to you or not there mm -hmm. is a family ties here Family is forever, family ties. Though. Yeah, it is. That's what we say. I love family that. Is Even if marriage cannot marriage be forever, marriage is not forever, but family is. Forever. And I tell people who are struggling in their marriage, I'm like, however you're struggling, ask God to fill with your heart with that love, yeah. not to see family over. Mm -hmm. Because you said it, love can fade. Yeah. But when we start seeing the purpose of a family yeah. marriage, yeah. then we're going to stand on that. Mm -hmm. Do I say that I grew so much as, as I grow? As you a know, person. I met my man when I was 17. He was young as well. I'm 35 now, soon 36. I've learned so much. Oh, yeah. And this is learning without having a proper... Sub this is learning from yeah. Instagram, from church, <laughs> from everybody <laughs> and everything. Mm -hmm. This is why... For churches and everyone who want to build stronger families and marriages, we cannot go back to just stop talking. Or, oh, follow these 10 steps. No, 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 no. There's no step. Be present. Visit those couples. Don't be biased because even in our society, most of the time, people side with men a lot. Patriarchy. Especially when things go down. Mm -hmm. So, but if we can really be, stop being biased and support families, support marriages, you know, not just with words. Oh, they had a baby. You know what? Because we know it's hard. Maybe once a month, let's have some young in the community who are going to babysit so they can have a date. Mm -hmm. Or maybe be able actually to sleep. Things like that. Yeah. Anyhow, I think I said so many things. No, <laughs> no, no. That's that's true. But I, I also, as, as she was saying, I was just reflecting on the notion of family. I yes. feel like everything we want to get in life, every development the country want to get to, mm -hmm. every techno, everything is mm -hmm. built within the family. Yes. So we are slowly losing the the, the family concept mm -hmm. and it's so sad and it's yes. breaking our heart and that's why everything is becoming so hard because mm -hmm. now people are they're focusing on the whole individual concept of self, self, self. Yes. And I don't disagree that it's mm -hmm. good to have that self, but mm -hmm. also remember that mm -hmm. family is important. Yes. Whether, and when we say family, it doesn't always have to be blood. As she says, she calls mm -hmm. it a community. But a strong community is also your family, yes. depending on what ties you or what connects mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. It's not who's right, who's wrong. Yeah. It's not who's the perfect wife or the perfect husband. Yeah. I think at some point for families, especially black families, mm -hmm. I, I say this, you know, I care about all families, but I'm so high on black, black families mm. because there's so many stigmas around us, so many things. Oh, we expect this. And then we, there, we have a society where we are like, you know, men are this, women are this. But at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, we need each other. Oh, yeah. We do need each other and this is who's right or who's wrong. Mm -hmm. This is who's winning, who's losing. This is recognizing that together, yeah. when we all win, mm -hmm. when we all win, think about this. Mm -hmm. We have children that are sa you know, feel safe, mm -hmm. feel protected, mm -hmm. feel like they are covered. Mm -hmm. You know, I was telling you the other day with my girl, all of our girlfriends out. I was like, you know, don't be afraid of marriage. Have that conversation. And also don't expect to go there as, you know, I'm strong. I built a career, have my money and all of that. No, don't enough. die on that hill. When you have a baby <laughs> and you yet. have a man who can nurture your soul mm -hmm. and your spirit and your body, who can be like, you know what? My woman had a baby. Take a pause from work so you can take care of the baby. Mm -hmm. I'm going to carry the family in this moment so you can rest. So you can just worry about maybe this phase of life mm -hmm. until your body feels ready and go back. Don't be like, you know, oh, I can't stay three months. Now we have to balance. You're going to balance and go back from work at the evening, mm -hmm. still go back to your babies and exhausted. Mm -hmm. I'm encouraging the soft era for black women we're talking about. <laughs> yep. It's so not nice. like, you know, for those who are not in relationship already, 
for me it's about someone who can be like you know yes both of us are strong mm. we have all these gifts and skills but when we get in there there's no 50 50 in a marriage especially when oh, hell no. <laughs> you know you can have maybe some money mm -hmm. all of it but mm -hmm. when it comes to motherhood for people who are gonna have families mm -hmm. 50 50 goes in the window because there are things a mom mm -hmm. are going to experience and do yeah. that how however you are going to support her, you're not going to replace them oh yeah so for me then it's gonna have to be if there is that presence of a person mm -hmm. who can be like you know i don't know what to do but tell me how i can support you yeah. how can i make it easier so you can for be you. At your best, as a woman. As... These are the lessons a man should learn. And yeah. again, I think society or whoever, mm -hmm. they put everything on women yes. and nobody teaches men. Mm -hmm. And there's some good men out there. Mm -hmm. They just don't have the notion of how do I help my woman. Mm -hmm. And they learn from their fellow men who are like, what? Mm -hmm. You are changing diapers? Uh -huh. What mm -hmm. happened to your woman? Mm -hmm. It's okay to change mm -hmm. diapers, men. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like women are going through an earth shattering experience of mm. motherhood your body is in pain your mind is going crazy your emotions are tight that's from the menstrual, a menstrual little human cycle being, a mess, like anything i think just men need to learn how they can these are conversations that men should have because mm. as we are nurturers by by nature we are givers by mm. nature so you feel like being a good woman equals putting your life down and doing everything for the sake of the man to be happy mm -hmm. but at that moment mm -hmm. at the moment where you, you two have brought this child together mm -hmm. no one fucks themselves to how to give birth mm -hmm. it's two people right yeah. whatever relationship you have whatever dynamic you have mm -hmm. men please support your women yeah. your baby mamas yeah and, that's and, and i especially. think it's a good thing and at the same time even when you think about women it's mm. like a few days of a month that our body are okay yeah just it's like days. every you know more than half of the days of the month is mm -hmm. your body claiming something demanding hurting you yeah. struggling and you know Going through crazy and also hormones. men <laughs> men have needs for sure mm -hmm. and i think this is where we need to invite in men mm -hmm. to really have this conversation and hear their perspective yeah yeah because sometimes we can speak as women demand our needs but also men have their needs and this is why you know if you are interested join us for please if you're a man and you're listening the we would conversation we'd love to have uh, you on here and hear a perspective on because our goal is to see really it's marriages together. families flourishing mm -hmm. Sing communities yeah, flourishing <laughs> your car okay get yourself your cards from you know if you don't know flourish play to play flourish, to flourish then go google that uh, go <laughs> yes, on instagram google because google these it. cards are amazing by the way yeah <laughs> anyhow we said so many things yeah but girlfriend we'll, yeah thank you so much thank you we, for inviting me we spent the last few days together <laughs> oh yeah and, we did. they were amazing <laughs> yeah and I, I think i'm just feeling like you know i've been really dismissing the men because i'm like mm, i'm having a good time <laughs> Not all the time you have your girlfriend coming to stay over. You know, this is a privilege. She treated me like what? I don't even know if I have the definition for that. I've been spoiled. So spoiled like a little brat. So yeah. thank you so much for No, that. thank you. So, no, we, it's because this is who you are. Mm -hmm. I think somebody was saying that. I think you were saying... Oh, getting my flowers yeah but you are getting your flower because you are that friend everybody's jealous of me because you are here everybody needs you everybody like you know hi so when are you coming i'm threatening to keep her passport i'm like what can i do so i can stay here but i don't even you are the one who's treating me like a brat sometimes i'm like i feel like i'm being useless because i'm like i'm trying to adjust to you this woman is a i don't know if she's a machine or has a robot that functions within her Oh my god. No, I'm a blessed I'm not a strong woman. I'm a blessed. No, no, I'm not saying strong. I'm like you you like the way she functions, the way she manages her busy schedule. Mm -hmm. Only only her can do it. We will need your tips. You know what? When I, I don't <laughs> want to give you my tips cuz it might because... not work with me. <laughs> No, it's not about working because my tips are not the tips we are looking for women. Oh, really? We want women for supported. For me, when I look from outside, mm -hmm. 
I see it as efficient. It is efficient, but at the same time, if I had options, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be doing all of that by what myself. What are the options you'll be looking for? So options would be like someone right now coming to cut my garden or cleaning my Helpers, house. Yeah, outsourcing you know, help. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, I do not wish. To, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about women who got things together anymore. Yeah, I want women who Abundance. are supported. <laughs> Living yeah. in abundance and mm -hmm. supported. Who got options? Mm. Who got options? Because it takes a village and many women and, you know, di different privileges are there. Because mm. by research, the black woman is at the lowest level oh, no. in terms of receiving support. I heard that the black woman and then there is the Muslim black woman who is at the lowest oh, level. God. And... What we are talking about, this is why I celebrate so hard on my girls. Because I'm like, you know, I want women to have options. Yeah. Okay, girl, anyway. let's stop here. Options equals money. So get your money. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving from Papa's love to money. Yes, uh, please, girls. Okay, this honestly. is where we end the conversation. <laughs> yes, come back to the next episode. Because for me, I will say, marry for money. You Bye. You have a way. I'm missing that. You have a way. Okay, okay. To be continued. To be continued. Okay, be continued. okay. Sending you love and hugs, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. <laughs> That's it for the week. We hope you gathered your dose of resilience for the week ahead. Follow Gen365 Podcast to know when the next episode comes up on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Google Podcasts. Share with your friends, community, and family, and do not also forget to follow and share your feedback or questions on our community organization social media at Beyond the Veil Mission on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Or learn more about our work via our website at www.beyondthevailmission.com. In the spirit of building resourceful, stronger communities, we can also help your community or business or organization to share your news and events on our podcast. Please email us for collaboration at podcastgen365 at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye.